city walls of this magnificent pylon protect the interior of the beautiful temple of Edfu in the legendary land of the pharaohs. This holy place that was constructed in traditional ancient Egyptian design is one of the country's most well-preserved ancient monuments. It was built by the Ptolemies between 237 and 57 BC. The temple of Edfu was dedicated to Horus, a god who was often depicted as a falcon. Horus was the most important god, but other gods were also worshipped here. This impressive religious building is still in excellent condition. It is therefore of great importance for both archaeologists and historians. Although the Temple of Edfu is one of Egypt's earlier temples, the architecture, with its inner courtyard and magnificent columns, is in the style of far older temples. Horus, the god of the sky with the head of a falcon, is a dominant and ever-changing motif. The interior of the temple is filled with a breathtaking array of hieroglyphs. Several relief-like illustrations and numerous of the world-renowned ancient and mysterious writings of the Egyptian language decorate the walls. Some describe religious legends, while others tell of ancient mythological battles and wars. Over the years, most of the ancient symbols have been deciphered, and therefore much is known of the various functions of many of its rooms, although some facts still remain in the dark. Thirty-two columns decorate the temple's large courtyard that was both protected and divided from the outside by a high wall. Only priests and the pharaoh himself, being the incarnation of God, were allowed to enter the sacred building. Hieroglyphs, as well as colourful reliefs, Praise the gods and glorify the pharaoh's heroic feats. The pillared hall and additional interior rooms in the centre of the temple still have a deep, mysterious and awesome effect on those who come here. According to ancient Egyptian religious belief, the world of the gods and the world of humans was connected by a sun bark, the most sacred element of the temple.
thousands of magnificent rows of hieroglyphs on Edfu's huge chamber walls. Ten inner rooms served for different cult purposes, as well as the safekeeping of important and valuable religious objects. In the middle of the 19th century, the French Egyptologist Auguste Mariette freed the temple from its layers of dust, rubble and sand and thus revealed the astonishing interior of this sacred building. In following years, the scientific interpretation of the hieroglyphs and images began to unfold. Until 1975, only around 10% of the texts had been translated. The complex hieroglyphic writing system is the oldest written form of Egyptian language. During the time of the Ptolemies, the quantity of symbols amounted to more than 6,000. Having been dedicated to the god Horus, the Temple of Edfu is dominated by inscriptions that praise him. Legend has it that the god Seth and other of Horus' enemies rebelled here without success. According to the hieroglyphs, although Horus was initially able to destroy Seth, his enemies returned in the form of hippopotamuses and crocodiles. In the holiest section of the temple is the altar, once the location of the sun bark and a solid granite shrine that dates back to the 30th dynasty. The majority of the mainly well-preserved ancient buildings appear to deal with the glorification of the gods. Only sacred buildings and those devoted to the pharaohs were made of long-lasting rock. Originally, the external appearance of the temple was lavishly decorated and its walls were painted in bright and shining colours. In the shadow of this holy place, many processions and rituals were held in honour of the ancient Egyptian gods. The Horus Temple of Edfu leaves its visitors with many long-lasting and fascinating impressions of this ancient Egyptian culture in the land of the pharaohs.